pumps are at the heart of the food and beverage production. Whether they are moving water, moving ingredients, used for cleaning equipment and many other things. But they're also among the biggest energy consumers in the plant. And when they are inefficient, they drain resources and drive up costs. Today, I'm joined by Torben Paulsen, an ABB expert with uh, more than 25 years in variable speed pumping. So Torben, um, you've been working with pumps and drives since your university days. What sparked your interest in this field? Oh, yes, Britt. Uh, already at university, I looked at uh, drives uh, and I could see that uh, the energy consumption could be reduced a lot by using drives. I've seen it in different industries. I've worked across different industries. And if pumps are used inefficiently, they can drive up the running cost of the factory quite a lot. Why, in your opinion, are pumps so essential in the food and beverage industry? They are essential because they are everywhere. So you have pumps in the process industry or in the process lines. You have them in the uh, support process, the cleaning processes, the supply of water and the handling of wastewater. So they are everywhere. That's why they are so inessential. So one myth we hear a lot is that adding a variable speed uh, drive over complicates things and isn't worth the hassle. Is there any truth in that? Uh, not at all. So you should think about a drive as a kind of cruise control in your car. It actually automatically uh, reduces the speed when there's no need for the liquid that you are pumping. So it adapts to the situation, saving a lot of energy, reducing the stress on your products uh, or on your pumps so that they will have a longer lifetime. So. Taking all that in, there are def uh, several benefits of using a drive on a pump. Well, that makes sense. Um, and what about reliability? Some people think that drives are unreliable. Drives are really reliable today. That is a myth from the old days. Mm -hmm. I would say the early 90s or something like that. Today, we are using the same technology in drives as we are using in electrical cars. Uh, it's a well-known technology. We have really developed it over the years. And that combined with features protecting the pump and running the pump in the best possible way actually gives it a very high reliability, when, not just when it comes to the drive, but also when it comes to the pump, uh, pumping system. So, so what is the real cost of not optimizing pump systems? First of all, there is the cost of the energy lost. So you are using more energy than actually needed. That is a part of the cost. The second part, which is really important, is also the maintenance of your product. So when you are running a pump at high speed uh, and you don't actually have the need, then you are stressing all the mechanical parts that will lead to earlier wear out, that will lead to earlier repair. So. There are these two elements, the energy costs and the re, uh, reduction in the, in, in the possibility to wear out the pump. So you're saying that investing in drives and efficient motors isn't just about energy savings. It is also about prevent uh, a cost breakdown. Yes, it is. And, and you have to think about it like this. Uh, so um, a friend once said to me, it's just pumps, it's not spaceships. But they are everywhere and they are super essential for the full process and the full running of the factories. So think about even if a small pump in your supply process is essential for the production, if that pump breaks down, then the full production lines will be in standstill. That means that you will lose a lot of money on the lost production. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about the energy savings. It's not just about uh, protecting the motors and the pump. It's also about 
optimizing uh, the, the full process and keep it running for years. So let's be practical. Do you know a case where ABB made a big difference? Yeah, we had a customer who changed to ABB drives and motors. They saved approximately 20% of energy. Um, that is actually very common to see. We have sometimes uh, more savings than that, uh, but but 20% is, is, is pretty typical. Um, and at the same time, they are reducing the stress on their elements, so they can expect a longer lifetime of all their pumps uh, in that factory. So what makes ABB solutions unique and in tackling these issues? We've been in the business for many, many years. Um, we have built in a lot of our knowledge into those products. So we have these additional functions and features that protect the pump. It could be dry running as one example, soft start, soft stop to reduce the stress during start and stop. It could also be uh, overload protection so that we are not just running and controlling the process, we are actually protecting the pump as well. And and how is uh, the legislation shaping the future of pump system? So we have already seen the legislation on motors requiring IE3 and IE4 motors. We expect the next step to be uh, legislation, including variable speed drives, motors and pump seen as one unit. Uh, it will perhaps be a little bit more complicated, but it is actually what we do expect to see, look at system efficiency instead of individual product efficiency. So what trends do you think will define the, the pump systems in, in the next decade? Sustainability will be one part and um, digitalization will be another part. Let's take the digitalization first. So the drives will be the hub for the different sensors in the production. And then the drive will be connected to the overall process control in the factory. We might even use AI to optimize that process control system and also the, the, the system running the pumps. When we come to sustainability, energy efficiency will still be a key element uh, because that is a way to reduce the carbon footprint of your factories. So energy efficiency will be one part, digitalization will be the other. So, all right, let's do a, a quick uh, fire uh, round. I'll say a statement and you tell me if it's true or false. Ready? Yeah. Variable speed drives are unreliable. False. Modern variable speed drives are super reliable. Adding a drive doesn't save much energy. False. Adding a drive to a pump system will typically save you 20% of energy. We have seen examples with even higher savings. It's best to buy a cheap pump. False. You have to look at two things when buying a pump. You have to look at what is the capex of the pump. Uh, what is the investment? Uh, and then you also have to look at the running cost because buying the cheapest pump uh, right now could actually lead to high running cost of that pump. All right. So, Torben, if listeners remember three things from our talk today, what, what should they be? That should be uh, variable speed drive saves energy and is able to control the pump so that they are running uh, to the actual need in the system. Uh, the second part is that uh, drives are reliable. Uh, the myth from the 90s that they were unreliable, that's a done deal. Uh, and the third part is that ABB have a series of products that actually is able to run the pumps. And we do have the experts that can help selecting the right products for the right applications. That's a great way of summing it up. Thanks for joining, Torben. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We hope this episode provided you with fresh insights and practical ideas for your business in the food and beverage industry. For more episodes and resources, follow us on social media or visit our landing page.